Steve, FC United of Manchester this weekend, the final game of the pre-season schedule and the final chance really to, to put in a bit of a, a dress rehearsal heading to Bradford then on the 30th. Yeah, really pleased. I mean, we gave the message to the players at the start of pre-season that not forgetting there's an opportunity for players to get in the team, but also, you know, in times gone by, we've seen football teams get set up through pre-season and actually you can play yourself out. Uh, the wrong attitude, the wrong fitness and conditioning. Uh, and the wrong match performance but uh, we're really pleased with the lads their application has been terrific uh, whether that be in the meeting room the dressing room or on the training pitch and thankfully I think we've delivered in the games in each and every one of them so we're really pleased You had the first few against non-league opposition but the last few days to play Huddersfield and Rotherham and, and look just as strong as the opponents that must have been really pleasing Yeah, every game's give us a different challenge whether it be a pitch and a slope uh, the levels we were at at the time with fitness obviously there's committed opposition always uh, heavy in possession Huddersfield who were a penalty kick away from going in the Premier League who were all but you know, pretty much full strength and then Rotherham um, were maxed out I think in terms of what they could pick on the day and how they approached the game in terms of effort so for us to have you know, large parts of that game, lots of chances, uh, good ball possession, uh, we were really pleased and it gave us a bit of an identity that we know that we can work good with and without the ball. So yeah, we're really pleased with the players. FC United, a club fairly local to you and, and a game where you'd expect to have more of the ball, wouldn't you? So another opportunity to work on those combinations. Yeah, we won't take them lightly. Obviously, don't know a great deal about their team, but the club, um, one of my best friends was the manager for 13 years uh, and the founder member, Andy Walsh, has set the club up superbly for hopefully forever. Uh, and they're obviously well supported obviously don't know much about the team uh, great for Adam Clayton to go back to North Manchester he's not based there anymore but probably his, his family home is about 800 yards from the ground uh, I think George Miller's North Manchester I'm North Manchester uh, and it's a great way as you say to you know, almost get everything ready now for Bradford but not just for Bradford for the season uh, there's opportunities still to get in this team for the first game of the season and we know it's going to be a long season and we've got to be fit and ready for it and everybody available and uh, ready to commit what we're trying to do here next season